I just want to sit down and like have a conversation. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Now I'm excited for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. I know, right? Isn't that sick? I don't care. You know, there's this game that I I I have a loyalty to on this channel. Do you know what game that is? Also, ignore the background. Do you know what game that is? You don't know what game that is? Well, maybe you should start watching my channel. SCP-5. No, it's not SCP-5. <gasps> You are, hello, I'm so to ask you. <laughs> no, it's not SCP-5K. You know what it is? That's go- How did you get that right? I don't- It's Fears to Fathom. Now, I might be wondering, where is he going with this? Let me tell you where I'm going with this. The new episode of Fears to Fathom is out now. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, by the way, I wanted to test like what it's like to like wear my mic. Well, I mean, I know what it's like to wear my mic. <laughs> Shut up. But what it's like to like use my mic like during the recording. Uh, I probably sound like an actual gamer instead of an actual like voice recording person. Don't get me wrong. You're going to be wondering why is it showing a background full of like random stuff. I'm just testing stuff, okay? I realized that my camera quality has just been doo-doo water. I noticed that my quality quality has just been doo-doo water. And I noticed that a lot of times, bro, like I would scream and it would be cut out. I like it. I like it when I scream and it cuts out. So I won't hurt your ears. What the time? <laughs> You're going to have to nail it. <laughs> So when I scream, bro, y'all gonna hear it, okay? So I just wanna see, I just, this is gonna be my only video, only video this happens, all right? Only video that this happens with, okay? Okay. Oh. Now, I can start my intro, right? Anyways, what's going on my guys, my gals, my people, my pals, welcome back <laughs> to Pierce to Fast Up. Oh, this one is called Iron Bark Lookout. We have another Fears to Fathom, guys. All the other Fears to Fathom was like $2, I think. This one was like $5. So this one must be awesome, bro. Look. Now I have to do it. <sighs> oh my god, bro. Now I have to freaking recap everything else. All right, pretty much Home Alone, you were Home Alone. Cool. Pretty much uh, Norwood Hitchhike, it was a hitchhike. Cool. Pretty much Carson House, you were inside of a house and you were getting haunted. Cool. Um, Iron Bart Lookout, this one's about looking out. All right, so this is what we're going to do, bro. The estimated time, what... Estimated time, play time. Guys, the estimated time for the other games was 40 minutes. Two at what time is it? Pretty much, it's pretty much eight. I'm gonna be done at 10 o'clock, guys. Wait. Yeah, I'm gonna be done at 10 o'clock, guys. Alright, well, we might as well just start it now! Fears the Fathom, Episode 4. Iron Bark Lookout, May 12th. May 12th. It's supposed to say down here, right? So I'm talking right now. This is me talking. This is the music, right? Oh. Uh. We're waiting every night to find everyone that is like newcomers to play with us. For many years we've been alone. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTube play Beers to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing the story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I have to keep clicking. I'm Jack Nelson. Had a small job as a park ranger in a, skate, a state park. 
I was a fire lookout station in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, or etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. I have to keep clicking. This one time, I was transferred from the outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me, to me though, since I lived out of my RV and light traveling, I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. I have to keep clicking. Never mind. Alright, two hour drive, let's see. Hey! Uh, yeah, 40 miles per hour, let's go. Uh, uh, tip it, check it, check it, check it, check it. Hey. Oh, this is my RV? Ooh, look at my RV! Guys, that's freaking sick, dude. My freaking RV is amazing. Oh! Alright, let me read these real quick. Alright, from Mitch Scott. Congratulations on the transfer feeling ready for the change. Just reaching to tell you that you've been assigned Tower 11. Welcome on board. This is Mitch, by the way, from Iron Bark. Thank you. I heard a lot from that from Josh. Very exciting, Mitch. So, <laughs> just got my ID today. By the way, I'm trying to sound like the uh, the, the 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 burger foot lettuce guy. You know, number 15, Burger King foot lettuce. The last thing you'd want in your Burger King burger is someone's foot fungus, but as it turns out, that might be what you get. Your shift starts on 12. Sounds good, I'll be there. Anything I need to know? I have your papers, just bring your ID. Josh told me that the job is not news to you. You could just, oh, sure, you could just ask you one question. Sure. Why did you pick this job initially? Not sure how to answer that. I just shut up. Bro, to answer that, I just enjoy the thrill or the lack of it, I guess. I'm sorry. I just asked this question to everyone joining this line of work. People join looking for a getaway or to discover who they are, only to leave without notice. Guess they're better off in a cubicle. <laughs> To be honest with you, I joined Iron Horse last year, not knowing what to expect, but the solitary life has grown on for me. For me, I can't do city life, this is where I belong, you know. And I'm like sure I'd adapt just fine to Iron Bark. Good, I hope you fare better than the last lady. Where can I park my van? So... You're arriving on a Friday. Just park your truck around back on the gravel park by gate D. Alright, got it. And from there, you'll be on foot. Take the Gold Creek Trail. From there, it'll take you a couple of hours until you reach your tower. Okay, got it, thanks. You'll probably see Billy at the gate. Just show him your ID. Okay, so that's... So I have to be at... Wait, where was it? Gate D. We have to go on foot on Golden Trail, or Creek Trail, sorry, I said Golden Trail. Gold, oh yeah, yeah, Gold, Gold Trail, yeah, Gold Creek Trail. See? I don't know what I'm talking about, I don't know what I'm talking about. Alright. Kayla Nelson. This new regional manager is such a jerk. Uh, yo, how did I do that? Picking <laughs> up major labor people and just getting paid to watch the wind go by. Wish my job was really that easy, Kay. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, you're always welcome here. Let me know if you need me to talk to Josh. It's definitely a time for change. Speaking of change. Oh, is that my freaking ID? Jack Nelson, Iron Bart Department, Fire Lookout, State of Washington. State of Washington. Oh. Oh, he said that. Alright, um. Okay, that's what I look like. Iron Bark? They are stabbing me to Iron Bark next month. The one after Roseburg? Yeah, I heard they got bigger staff, cabins, and less campers. Call me. I called her, by the way. 
With that, I'll call you back. How is it looking? Still on my way. Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today. Out of all days, this was today at 6 p.m. Isn't it late? If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Rosebrick yet? No, why? Okay. Alright, it's all good. It's not like we were just sitting on the road like 24-7. Hey. Hey, there's a vehicle right there out of all time, bro. You can't tell me. But the freaking vehicles were never coming by, but as soon as I started moving, vehicles started coming by. Like, what? Uh, I've always loved the great outdoors. Yeah. See, you never play through as a feather if you love the great outdoors. Uh. Yeah, I felt like I was at home. You just really like the woods, don't you, bro? Aw, oh, Caleb. I remember there's this dinner passing Roseborg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them. I could really use a good meal before the staff starts. Thanks, Kay. Alright, we're gonna get some burgers. Yo, Arby's are hard to drive, I'm just saying, bro. Yes, sir. Let me see how I parked. Hey, we in the RV. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Yes, sir. Look at that. Oh, alright. I parked pretty good. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that OP parking. Give me some goddamn burgers. Okay. Where can I be seated? Oh. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good, how about you? Feel free to take any seat you like, and I'll be right with you. Alright, thank you. Black, bruh. Alright, take a seat wherever I like, right? Okay, uh, let me take a seat next to my RB. I can watch my door. No, uh -huh. Nobody touching my car. I mean, my, my RV. Same difference. Hey, yo, this ain't mine. I didn't park that close. I'm just saying. Yo, can you give that person the order? Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes, I'm ready to order. So what can I get for you? Hmm, she said cheeseburgers though. I, I'm gonna get me a, a basic cheeseburger and fries. Uh -huh. Our burger is the best in the west. Would you like anything to drink? Uh, can I get a strawberry chicken with a large cup? Alright, um, strawberry sauce? What the frick is that? Coffee? Um, large coke? Coffee's gonna keep me up at night, right? So, so should I, should I, I should probably drink coffee, right? Because if I'm doing a night shift, yeah, 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 give me coffee, give me coffee. Perfect. Anything else? That would be all. Thank you. Great. I'll bring the food out as soon as you can boom. Just let me know if you need anything else. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Thanks, lady. Give me my burgers. I've always had the habit of peeing before eating. Oh, no. All right. Let's miss the toilet this time. All right, ready? Uh, yeah. All right, I figured out how to how to. Oh Oh uh, yeah, let's, let's wash our hands. Last time I don't think we washed our hands. Yeah, we forgot to wash our hands because we've been doing freaking. I mean, look, I was role playing as a kid. All right, that's why I forgot to wash my, wash my hands the last game. Okay, freaking nasty. All right, use this. Drop my hands up. You know what I'm saying? You know how these role playing go? Where, why does why is there trash if there's oh yeah wait huh why is there trash? Uh, dang door! Ugh. Oh man. Long drive. I stretch my back. Stretch my legs. Yo, you walking all slow, bugging my food. I'm just playing. What's up, lady? <gasps> my fries. You got my oh you got me sauces too. You got me sauces and everything. Is that my drink? Heck yeah. Mm. Cons consuming. That's what it says. <laughs> I figured it'd be wild before I had a meal this like this again. Oh yeah, give me some fries. You know what I'm saying? I always eat my fries first though. I don't know why I ate the burger first. I never eat the burger first. I always eat my fries first. What what y'all do? Do y'all y'all eat the burger? Alright, Kayla. So, did you end up going? How was it? I'm here. Still eating. This is so good. I mean, I'm eating like two seconds. Everyone else set has been in the store for like the longest time, bro. I've been eating for like like two seconds, literally. Like, I'm drinking that coffee. I'm 
Okay, you already know. Got me that coffee. Hey, lady, I'm done. Okay, okay. Told you. <laughs> this food reminds me. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else, or should I get the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Thank you. All right, let me check. This food rem reminds me. You should send me that cas casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine and the new look. Wow, yes. I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit. Yes, sir. Here's the check. Your total is six dollars and six cents. Uh. 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 Dang, I could get her a 15%. I'll give you a 50% tip. There you go. Thank you. Hope you enjoy the rest of your ride. Yeah, we about to go to work and all. It's like, we don't really need nothing. We didn't need something to fill ourselves up, right? So we can get a 15% tip. Get out of here. Let's get out. And let's get back. Who's in my RV, bro? Who's in my RV? Who's in my RV? Oh, did I leave the door? Oh, my fault. 8.02 p.m. We've been driving for... Uh, what was it, like six? Yeah, so it's been like two hours or so. We ain't even no gas or nothing. What's the gas looking like? I can't even tell, bro. <clears throat> I want to include the location of this park. Okay. But, I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. What the utter horrors have you seen in these woods? Oh, shoot! Is this it? Is this gate D? Hold on. Alright. We gotta make sure this is gate D. Thought that was a dog. Alright! Gate D! This is gate D? I can't tell. Welcome to gate D, yes. Alright, and where's the trail? Which one is this? Gold Creek Trail. Here it is. Gold Creek Trail! Gate D! We out here! We gotta go talk to Bob or whatever his name is. Bill. Ben. I'll be back, y'all. Did I say nay? <laughs> I'm a horse. Call him out. You got me. I got the wrong hand. What of who? My wall have mercy. Anyway, can I see your apartment, please? You're Billy, right? I'm the new transfer at Fire Lookout. I was told to report here. What for? I'm the new transfer at Fire Lookout staffer. Is that correct? I didn't know you were hiring this season. I mean, I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. Oh, <sighs> man. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Stupid. Jump scared the mess out of me, bro. Oh, shit. Okay, Pam. You're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I know that. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left in the staff for the season. But take here, for here are your keys. Alright, I'm take these keys. Let me open the trail gate for you. I ain't gonna lie to you. Your accent's kind of strong, bro. How did you... Since you're arriving this late, you might also need these flashlights for the long hike to your lookout. Thought I might need one. You be careful. Tight bass. Tight flashlight. Why are you yelling, by the way, Billy? Welcome to your iron bar, pal. Now, for all purposes, when you get to your diver, be sure to make your first weld of apart from your system just so we know you're clocked safely. If need be, you can reach out to the tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough, guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. You have a good day. I'm gonna forget. Oh! Um. 
Hey! Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats. And bears. Nasty business. See you around. Don't know what them bobcats do. So. Hey! Hey, Billy! Billy, I need help! I jump up! I jump up! Duh. Alright, these are missing kids. Brit. Uh huh? Brittany Spears. Sunita Williams. Hugh Jasmine. Oh, I don't have. I don't know if they're cold. That was like a million feet. Oh, freaking feet. We were in a fire hunt. Not a drama. Huh. I haven't been out here alone for weeks at a time. Not for everyone. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. You barely even go outdoors. Like. To be honest. You have to stay like. Indoors technically. You're in a tower. So. Uh, let me tell you one thing that's out of the ordinary. I think that's a tower right? the tower on? Is that my emergency guy? I heard talking about. One thing I love about this <clears throat> is the door. Cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. Iron bar fire department. Alright, anything crazy up here? <gasps> Smokey! Repeat after me. Only you could prevent wildfire. Always listen to Smokey. Never Smokey on the Smokey. I might have to turn the light on, right? Forgot to turn the generator on. Oh my god. I gotta turn go all the way back down. Turn the freaking generator on. Wildfires. There you go. Back up all the way back up. Alright, we up here. We up here in this thing. Ah, the door just closed. There you go. Lights on. Turn the lights on. Uh, ooh. Bag on the bed, flashlight on the table, boom, got it. Okay, remember we were on the computer last time? Yeah, wasn't too pretty. Initializing. Starting, what was I say? Rainbow. Rainbow, 40 user tower, 11. Check the iron part rules flyer. Where's the flyer? My reporting. Okay, well that's the freaking radio. System password is Iron Bark Tower number. So Iron Bark Eleven. Iron Bark Eleven. How is it the raw password? There you go. Okay. Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant, here to help you make the most of your computer today. How can I make your day better? Clickety click. Here's a random fact for you. The Grand Canyon in the United States is not only breathtaking, but also incredibly old. It's estimated to be around 6 million years old. For command information, ready to wield some digital magic with constant type help to get commands. Uh, okay, help. There you go. Available command information. C H K U P D. Checks for available system update. Checks for current version. All right, C H K B E R. Current package version. Update. Install system update with package code. Update. No system update available. Check back later. Okay. Remember last time we.
Hey, hey, looks like you're ready to take on some zombies and have a blast. Good luck and aim for the head. Oh, what? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. They got a freaking awesome game. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, run. Uh, what the freak? Oh, yeah, 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 go, 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 what's up, what's up with it, what's up with it, blow, blow, dude, blow, dude, headshot, blow, blow, oh, shoot, oh, go, 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 blow, what's up with it, blow, what's up with it, what's up with it, what's up, okay, that game was fun, anyways, service reporting, Welcome to the state of the art service report. Oh, static. All right, we got something. New guy. Haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? Uh, who's this? I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. I saw your light turn on. Thought I was going to be alone out here. You're never alone in these woods. I've had to cover your area until you arrived. Thank you, I suppose. So what is it? Uh, your what? name? Oh, it's Jack. Anyways, Jack Nelson. What brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just looking for a change. I'm a transfer from. Irons. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really tired. You got a fire going? Nope. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it. Thanks. Okay. Well, we gotta get a fire going, apparently. Blow your training. Welcome to Iron Bark State Park. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. You have been commissioned by the Iron Bark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You have been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art Lookout Towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire! Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time, so also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to know whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. Thanks, Jack. Oh, wow. How'd you know his name? Because that's Jack something. And we are back. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you moisturize? Fascinating. What do you do for a living? 
Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. How does that work? Right. Wow. That's inspirational. Everyone's been wondering, how's the marriage with the wife? Oh. Sir. Yikes. Sir, there's no need for that language. That's what I'm saying. Hold Sir, up. Sir, calm down. Hey, yo. What did you just say? Nobody talks to me like that on my show. Dang. What the f did you just say? Dang. Get over here, you piece of sh. That plant just called him a boss. Hi, everyone. I'm Ron Ross, and I'm here to paint with you. Today, I got some cool paint. This is something called testicular green. Okay. It reminds me of my wife. I love my wife. Anyways, a little water there. Time to switch brushes. Oops, that's the wrong brush. That's my needle. I'll save that for later. Ah, there it is, the basting brush. This brush is really great for painting in those details. I think I'll put a little tree here. This is where That's I buried the bodies. You what? Know what would look good here? A nice, happy cabin right there. Reminds me of when I had an affair with my wife. Uh, with a squirrel. Enough about me. Let's read some fan mail. Sent in by you guys. Eviction notice. Uh, forget the fan mail. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Ron Ross! <laughs> Cat! Yo, I ain't gonna lie, I'm stealing that song, bro. I am stealing that song. That song was lit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, check it. Check it, check it, check it. Check it. Check it. Uh. Cats. <clears throat> Let's check the bin. Remember last time we checked the bin? Yeah, that was a mistake. Um, they're not letting us check the bin this time. Okay. All right. That's about it. Yeah. That's cool. Anyways, what do I do? All lookouts must follow these rules while occupying this tower. Lights out after 12 p.m. What time is it? 11.32. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Okay. Absolutely no guests in the lookout. Cool. System password is Ironbark Tower Number. Okay. Refuel the generator routinely. Update the reporting so Update the reporting. Update the reporting software routinely. Okay. No video games in the system. There's a. Okay, we broke like rule number seven. Remember to call your sister station before you sleep. Sister station. That's a sister station. Dishes, food, and stuff. And like salmon or something. We got this. PTSD, we got this, PTSD, we got this, also PTSD. Um, what is this? Oh, this is for fire. Oh. Did you light it up yet? Did you light it up yet? The wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. Should be around the entrance. 
get her lit. Alright, where's the wood? Wait, hold on. Why is it? Why is it beeping? There's no fire. No wood. firewood? There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. The staffer was in the lookout before you. Okay. She was one gritty woman. Cool. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Okay. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Uh, it's more than likely going to be in the storage shack. We have gasoline right here, though. Alright, let's go get that fire! Let's go get that fire, my laser! I'm a fire, my laser! Hey, it is that fire wood. Fire wood. Flip that wood. Alright, is that it? Anything else? Uh, flashlight and stuff. Oh, that's that little device. There's a lot of stuff in there. That is a supply room. Jeez. Okay. There you go. Gasoline. that. Light it up. Sir. Light that up. Ah, I see it. I see the smoke. Okay. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Yes, sir. Did you report for the night yet? No. Report that. Did you report for the night yet? No. Let me get you better it. get to it, then. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. Okay. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. No, I don't. Report! Let's see. How do I check the weather? Do I have to check the weather? Alright, temperature. Okay, let's see. Alright. Is the wind thingy? Seventeen knots. Okay, so seventeen knots. Wind. Seventeen. Oops. Cloudy. Uh, blizzard. Dust. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's check. Is it cloudy outside? I forgot my name, bro. Right. Check. Oops. Check. Oops. Check. Now set. Temperature. Alright. <clears throat> 45 degrees. Fahrenheit. Numbers of hikers assisted. Zero. Cloudy. Blah, 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 blah. Submit. Something did look great. Well, here's the 44. Oh, let's say 45. I wasn't sure if I had put in the right weather condition. Oh, heat blizzard. Is it clear? Is that why? It's clear. Okay. All right. Do you copy, so new guy? Oh shoot! Do you copy, new guy? Tower 11. Copy. I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Okay. Tower 12. Signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Don't let the bed bugs bite. We going to sleep. Wake up in the morning. 3.26 a.m. What the heck? Unintelligible. What? The heck? What's happening? Connor? I have to pee. Where are you going to pee? Where's my freaking flashlight? Where's my flashlight? Ah, I lost my flashlight, dude. 
Where do I pee? My first night being out in the cabin gave me strange feelings. Yeah! I can tell, dude. What do I pee, though? Do I have, like, a porter party somewhere? Okay, we're gonna go out. But we can't go down. Pee. Pee where? Oh. Yeah, I... Take that, deers! Heh! <laughs> take that, deers! What the heck was that on the right? I must be tripping, bro. Okay. Uh oh. Woofies. I didn't have me to throw that. Okay. Cool. Back at night. Night two. Hey, hey, hey. It's just you and the wind, and the time just melts away. <sighs> wow. You see the beauty. Amazing, right? I have to take a photo of this view. Wow! Beautiful. I'm gonna zoom into the tower. Hold on, Connor. I got you, bro. Tower 11, do you copy? Copy that, Connor. What's Son up? Son of a bitch! What? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Get a camping permit. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me have a look. North of my position. Well, north is this way, so. Yep, I do. I have to open up the door to see it. Smoke goes white. Can't fire. I need you to confirm. Do you see that smoke up north? Apparently my feet of view. that white smoke up north? It yeah, I see it. in the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Is it safe? Be alert. Carry your bear spray, and you should be fine. Okay. Ready, Narf. Do you have any other detail? No additional information at the moment. Just follow Lazy Trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. Okay. Ready, Narf. I'll report back on that. Don't forget really... to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. All right. They really want me to go out of there, huh? Get my bear spray. Oh, uh, wait, where's my flashlight, actually? There it is. Oh. Okay, bear spray. Yo. I'm still zoomed in. I'm bugged right now. I'm still zoomed in. Oh, I could've just peed down here. Oh, no, I did I followed the trail a little. Y'all hear that screaming? No camping. Violators would be... You see? Hanging? She gives the best hit. Okay. Okay, wait, well here's a freaking fire. Dang! 
the heck she texted me with all this information for? Her? Who's whistling? Hello? Okay. We're gonna text Kayla. Do you believe how easy this one is to throw together? Did you reach yet? Send pics when you do. Jack, are you okay? Hope everything is okay. I'll fight back when you see this. I'm sorry, Kay. I don't think my sector has very good service. View from my tower, and thanks for the rescue. Might try it tonight. Who is whistling? How do I put it out? Step out here! Show yourself! Hello? The area beyond that site was closed. I'm gonna freaking in the woods chilling. Alright. You don't wanna listen? Fine then. Don't listen, huh? Huh? You wanna listen? Put your fire out! Ha ha! Now you have no more fire. You have no more fire now. Alright, goodbye mister. Bye. Weird. As I hiked back to the tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Oh no. Where's the tower at? Oh. Wait. Am I gonna, oh no, I'm gonna run away. You yes, sir. We got that freaking bear spray. Or them goddamn bears. Man, they me go up there. After you hear the whistle. Followed. Hold on, this, this is my weapon. Tower 12, do you copy? Hey Connor, do you copy? Clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first, what's your status? Talk about campsite. Are you kidding me? Yo, I'm just saying, bro. Like, 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 I heard screaming. There was some dude, like, he had a fire. He had, like, a whole bunch of stuff. He had, like, a machete. And, and he was just whistling, and he was like out of like 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 the the the, the constructed zone where he weren't supposed to pass. He was behind there, and he was just whistling. And I swear to you, bro, like like like, yeah, okay. I know, bro. They never learn, do they? I, apparently not. Who are you talking about, though? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Anything else you notice in those woods? Uh, I, oh, yeah, I heard a scream. A scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. No. I'm telling you. Foxes kind of go... <laughs> this was like a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. <sighs> kids went missing in that area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and... What does that have to do with campers? Well, people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. Oh my god. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Ah. Uh. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. Are you okay? Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11. Urgent. Um, 
That's kinda unsettling. Hey guy, I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? No. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Alright. Just keep me updated, bruh. Will do. Over and out. Alright, over and out. There's more- wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. That was weird. Alright, um... What time is it, though? 9.07. Should I do my job? Like, ah, oh, come on, lady. Yeah, let me put this way here. My, uh, oh, mom made the same carousel recipe today. Nom nom hee hee. Looking at that photo makes my stomach growl. As a matter of fact, let me try that recipe now. All right, pizza pi Oh, right. Hold on. Let me see. Thank you, Connor. Over 12, signing off. Over and out. Over and out. Okay, I can just grab it with my hands. That's cool. Um. Wait, I like I like eating in bed. Okay. All right. Every time I eat, guys, let me tell you something. If y'all don't know already, if y'all new here, every time I eat, I'm telling you something. Something always happens. Y'all about to find out. I'm about to see somebody on the windows or something. Face me through the windows for a reason, dude. I was already full. Wow. Usually a, my characters be eating the whole thing. Alright, I could have kept it in the fridge. Oh, yeah, that's true. I mean, even though I didn't know there was a fridge here, but yeah. Oh, here it is. Never mind, I do know there's a fridge. Alright, pop that in the microwave later. I'm done, bro. I've done my job, bro. I'm trying to go to sleep. It was getting cold. All oh, right, was, I'm gonna be shivering, bro. Hold up. I have to get wood. Where the whistling is at? Oh my god. Oh my. Why didn't I get wood earlier? We're gonna grab this. I don't care if it works on a bear, it works on a human. Let's go. Mr. 
It stopped. Wait, hold on. Oh, you can see it. The, the whistling stops. I can whistle too. You hear it? Finna spray you, bro. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at, huh? Where you at? Oh my god, I gotta drop my spray. Alright, let's do this. Oh no, I have to drop my spray. Run, 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 run. Run! 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 Okay. 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 We have extra freaking bear spray, I think. It's almost like they knew. It's almost like they do. Oh, I have an axe right here. I don't like this game. 2:27 a.m. I was woken by some food. My eyes. What's that? What's that? What's that? And it's moving. It's moving. When I get up, it's gonna be gone. It's still there. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Something very strange about that night. Side and trick it. <gasps> okay, yeah, we're gonna close that door. I had to talk to Connor. Yeah, we're, we're not going outside. Not going outside. Screw all that. Screw all that. Screw all that. Nah, bro. Nah, dude. Ah. Uh, get out, get out, get out. Connor, do you copy? I need to talk to you. It's urgent. Do you have any idea what time it is? There's something outside my door. Just couldn't wait until morning. There's a skull. Tell you what, new guy. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. I suspect that's what Marley got tired of. I don't think these are kids messing around. These kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. They watch too many horror movies. Maybe they thought it would be funny. This feels like a some real ritual. This is serious. You don't understand. Do you? Let's not get carried away, new guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. All right. Here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. For so now, no. just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. It'll be morning before you know it. Try to get some sleep, Jack. Over and out. Thanks. Go. 
Connor didn't make any sense. He didn't. Exactly. I'm so glad that I wasn't the only one that thought about that. Like that didn't make any sense. If if I if I needed help, you're supposed to do you know real procedures. He's like, oh uh, well, maybe it's just maybe, maybe it's just like Obama or something. I just walked up to you. Don't worry. Just started pranking you or something. Like, bro, help me. Next day, I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Next day, I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids, but there's something about that night that just felt darker. There was something strange happening over this. 8 
moly. What took you so long in there? I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to pick you know. Who were you up to, pal? I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour, may the God be merciful. Anyway, got your tower supplies here, just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this. One more second. Delicious. That was good. Can I go see? Is that the report for that night? Alright, alright. Let me do the trick on one thing outside first. Wind is. Alright. Oh, there you go. 25. 25 now. Alright. Service. Oops. Temperature. 25. Oh, no. Alright. 25. This is the thing. Temperature. 58.5. Oh. That's a change. You deserve one of these. You deserve one of these. You deserve one of these, bro. You deserve one. You just gave me a heart attack. What are you doing? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Well, I say hi. The new guy everyone's been talking about. What's your name? Names can be deceiving. Call me Silas. Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday. Just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message reached the right places. Wouldn't you agree? Right, we rely on information about the fire sites. 
Absolutely. But some fires are meant to burn, and no amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean by that? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing you away from the mantle of your fire zone. Uh, it's getting late. Have a good night. Hope you sleep well, but remember, curiosity can lead to places I'd rather not go. You're well, Jack. Nah, nah, you think I want to eat. What kind of freaking Fallout New Vegas music is this? Maintaining that nearby radio tower. It's just about yesterday. What do you mean? You trying to yank my chain now? What do you mean? That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems, and its repair cost was deemed too costly. Repair day was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name. He knew your name. You think he's been listening? I don't know. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Good night, Connor. Tower 12, signing off. Over and out. My knees was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed to, to get used to. The strangeness I've seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause me. However, that was two nights later. 9.18 p.m. It's dark again. Guy. You got a minute? I'm listening. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Oh, wow. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. How do I, uh, what is it about? Thanks for letting me know. So, C H A update. Updates. Uh, very total update, security version, uh, blah, 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 Accepted. All right. Update. That's what we're gonna do. Please enter the update package code. Update. Security patch version. Five, four, six, eight. Oh, package code right here. Four three four four three four six zero eight four. Oh, I put five. Four. Okay, oops. Four three four six zero. Package 
found. Looking for serviceable lines. Serviceable lines. Busy lines. Please enter an active line. Uh, we're gonna do... First one's a good one. I guess one zero four five. Hold that. There you go. Find out available. later. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I did is checking on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I've ever talked, unless I was talked to some. We got another one. I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. Jack? Jack? I need you to wake up. You copy? Oh, oh I'm kidding. Connor? Hey. Jack, do you copy? Right here, Connor. Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass. Working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Never look. Okay, this is okay. This is a door, right?
as adrenaline kicked in, hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cap. Out of breath, I radioed and to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy at you. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of insulation. Just stick to looking out for fires, which are offered. However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can be a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. I freaking survived. Except the guy. <laughs> Ooh, that was a pretty good one. I'll have to say the one before it was probably my favorite one so far. Top donations. What do we got? out wow dude when that freaking episode comes out different bro wow bro wow that's amazing Dude, I remember my first time playing this game, bro. Like, the very first episode. Home Alone, the very first. And now we're all the way here on Iron Bark Lookout. This was freaking crazy. The Carson house, this definitely gotta be my favorite, so. 